prominent U.S.-born right-wing activist Yehuda Glick was seriously wounded in a drive-by shooting Wednesday night outside the Menahem Begin Heritage Center in Jerusalem. Glick, a spokesman for Israeli groups advocating greater Jewish access to the Temple Mount, was shot by a gunman on a motorcycle who opened fire about an hour after the close of the conference as he was loading some equipment into his car. The gunman on a motorcycle was an Arab man who intentionally targeted Glick, said M.K. Mosh Faglin, who leads the far-right segment of Likud, and said he witnessed the shooting. Police did not immediately say whether they considered the shooting a terrorist attack, saying they were investigating all possibilities. This is a very difficult event of the shooting of a well-known man said the public security minister, adding, We have agreed to call in several hundred policemen and border police to investigate the incident. He finished by saying, I truly hope that we will get the assassin. Glick often led groups of Jews to visit the Temple Mount and founded an organization advocating that Jews be allowed to pray there. He regularly blasted the police and the government policy that denied Jews free access to the Temple Mount. He visited the site whenever he could, usually as a group guide. Every time Jews were permitted to go there. The security services have recommended the full closure of the Temple Mount to everybody, Jews and Muslims alike, for the interim. Representing only 2.4% of the overall population, Islam is the second largest religion in Norway following the nation's various forms of Christianity. The majority of Norway's roughly 121,000 Muslims live in Oslo and Akershus, although nearly 9,000 Muslims live in or around Drammen and the Buskerud County. So when DNA testing by the Food Standards Agency, or FSA, of Norway found that kebabs in Drammen from a butcher called Karas contained up to 33% pork, the kebabs had been labeled as halal, meaning dietarily appropriate under Islamic law, which forbids pork and pork byproducts and requires that animals be slaughtered in a particular way. The findings caused many to be dubious that even the acceptable meat forms were being butchered, according to the halal standards. Metab Asfsar, Secretary General of the Islamic Council of Norway said, We've said it before and we'll say it again. In this business, it's mafia-like conditions in which people can do anything they want to earn a little money. It is misleading and unacceptable. Additional testing also found pork in products sold in Oslo. Responding to the charges, the company's market manager, Kenneth Karras, said, This is very surprising and very undesirable for us. We have initiated an internal investigation to figure out how this could have happened. On November 1st, on the campus of Michigan State University, an organization called Creation Summit, sponsored by Origin Summit, a quasi-scientific examination of the scientific evidence in favor of biblical creationism, featured workshops with titles like The Big Bang is Fake, with the word fake in all capital letters, and Hitler's Worldview. Said the group's executive director, Mike Smith, we want to show the scientific evidence that shows intelligent design. We're not coming to the campus to promote Bible verses or sermons. However, some were skeptical. It's a sign of how desperate creationists have become, said renowned MSU biology professor Robert T. Pennock, who had refused a challenge to debate as a centerpiece of the summit. Pennock continued, They have to make schoolyard bully taunts, blame evolution for Hitler, and raffle a free iPad, to create a controversy and draw an audience. In fact, the university received several complaints from faculty and alumni who challenged the value of allowing scientific hokum on the university campus, but the university took a different stance. Not everyone is going to agree with everything everyone says, MSU spokesman Jason Cody said. We're a public university and we encourage free speech and academic freedom. 